All right, guys, welcome back to The Playbook, where I'm joined by somebody who definitely knows his stuff when it comes to cigars. We have the president and CEO of Nat Sherman and our cigar expert tonight, Mr. Joel Sherman, with us. Mr. Sherman, thanks so much for coming by The Playbook. Thanks for having me. Now, let me ask you this. What is one of the major mistakes that beginners make when they walk into the tobacco store? The biggest mistake, I think, is they ask for a mild cigar. The mild is an absence of flavor. Right. What they really should be looking for is a smooth cigar ah. with a flavor that suits their taste. The cigar of today is different than the cigar that was pre Castro Cuba, which was a singular flavor. This is more like a blended wine, uh, a Merlot or Cabernet. So you have tobaccos coming from all over the Caribbean region and around the world now that never existed, and they're fermented uh, as smoother. Very cool. Mr. Sherman, it might just look like a cigar, but there's actually a lot going on inside here, right? What are the parts that we need to consider when we're buying one of these? Well, there are three main components in a cigar. The outer layer, which is a delicate and yeah, even look looking leaf, very often contains most of the flavor for the right cigar. Right there, that right little there. layer. Yes, if you, t if you were to take the, the bunch, which is the in inner, inner grouping of maybe anywhere from three to seven tobaccos, and consider it to be the meat or the, the, the fish in a, in a cooking recipe, the wrapper is what the uh, spice is. Ah. So you can cook a Cajun, you can cook it. Kick it up you, a notch. You, you, you can do anything you want. And the binder is the is the structural layer that holds it together. Nice. So that it should should not impart any specific flavor of its own, but just does a job to have the cigar burn evenly. Mr. Sherman, what do we need to know about cutting our cigars? Well, there are three types of cutters. The guillotine cutter, the bullet cutter, and there's a notch cutter. The guillotine cutter, which most people use because it's, it's the most inexpensive and easiest to carry, but it has a tendency to cut off too much of the head of the cigar. The bullet cutter, which put, takes a, a core out of, like an apple core, out of the head of the cigar. Mm -hmm. And the one that I like best, which is the notch cutter, or the V-cut. Notch cut. cutter. It, it takes a deep cut without ruining the, the configuration of the cigar, without leaving the, the loose tobacco. You're going to get a mouthful of uh, exactly. tobacco leaves. Cool. Exactly. All right, so now that we've got them cut properly, how do we light them? Well, you want to light it with a, a butane lighter or a match, or not uh, something like a fluid lighter or something that gives it, will give a taste, the cigar is very susceptible to it. I'm not going to grab, uh, you know, my girlfriend's potpourri candle and stick exactly. that underneath the stogie. So I like to use a soft flame if I'm not out outdoors. And with that, I just hold the cigar above the flame. You see the flame jump to the cigar. When the cigar gets oils, get warm and ready to light. Fantastic. Mr. Sherman, what do we need to know about the care and storage of our stogies? The cigar has to be kept moist, somewhat humid. Uh, air conditioning wipes that out, you know, in a, in a moment. So you can you can go to something like a fine humidor like that. This one, which happens to have the old garden floor on it from the next from space. Madison Square Garden. Madison, 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 Madison Square Garden. Or you can uh, use a Tupperware container. It will do just as well. Mr. Sherman, any last words of wisdom for the guys out there? I think it's important that any smoker or new smoker not be afraid to go in and express their opinions and their feelings. Because there is only one expert in the cigar business, and that's you, the smoker, the nice. individual. But most of all, it's just light up and enjoy. All right, fantastic. Well, thanks very much, Mr. Sherman, for dropping thanks by for the playbook. Me. All right, guys, don't forget to hit up natsherman.com for more info on cigars. And if you're in New York City, be sure to stop by their flagship location at 42nd Street, just off 5th Avenue for a smoke.